what we're gonna do today, guys, is is we're gonna take you through a how it's done video. We're gonna we're gonna tell you what happens from the time you get your dumpster that we empty the dumpster and then it goes and it gets through the recycling station. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take you through a complete inside look. This place is incredible. It's, it's gonna be like an awesome video. Check it out. This place runs so efficient. There's two places we go to locally that we really like going with. This place is one of the most incredible places that I completely enjoy coming to because they are really good to the environment. They try to recycle everything. Their entire process is revolves around getting 0% landfill and they do complete recycling. I'm gonna show you just how in depth they take this recycling efforts too. So here's what we're gonna do guys. The first thing that happens is the trucks, they pull in. And right now we got a college hunks truck in here. And they go over to scale and they get what's called their heavyweight. That's full of garbage. Once they're full of garbage, they'll empty it. You've seen that lots of time guys and it'll wind up in this pile. This right here is called C&D, it's construction debris. As you can see there's sheetrock, there's construction debris from a commercial facility, pallets, and what they'll do is, that's not the end of it. Guys, that's the very beginning of it. When you fill up a dumpster full of stuff and it gets picked up, that's the beginning of the trail. What this place has done has created an entire process of becoming zero landfill. What, what they've created is what they're trying to thrive as a zero landfill, recycling. That's why they call it a recycling center. There's a lot of places that do better. There's some places that take it to less of, a, um, of an extent. This place is amazing. So I'm gonna give you a little inside depth pile of garbage. What's gonna happen is the excavator in the back, they'll load it from the pile of garbage and they got Vinny in the, in, the, in the excavator and what he's doing is he's loading the conveyor belt. So he's taken from the pile of garbage and he's loading it onto this conveyor belt. And the conveyor belt is this to the right. And what they'll do is the conveyor belt will load up the garbage and if you look underneath on the bottom, way in the back there and we'll get a better video of that. This is a back end view. This is rarely seen for pe from people that aren't working in here. What'll happen is, this is the back of the pile. And if you look over here to the left, as it's coming up the conveyor belt, what this is gonna be used for is that'll be used for um, topping off landfills. So they'll use this as topper and that'll, that is being, taking to a special facility for topper. There's many uses for it, but that's just one of them. It's still garbage, but they'll use it for a special type of cover. And then here's the back of the pile. And the back of the pile, if you look over here, Vinny's gonna be feeding the conveyor. That's gonna be probably his job all day. It's summertime and things are gonna be getting pretty busy. So this is the back of the pile. This is the shaker that comes off the conveyor belt, and then the conveyor belt goes to the top, and then at the top, you'll have pick locations. Before we go up top, what I'm gonna show you is, we're gonna have different bays with dumpsters in it. And what this bays will do, right now he's picking up some of the, um, some debris from it. From these bays, what they'll do is they'll drop it to these dumpsters. So these guys are picking, and they're basically just filling up dumpsters. Hola. Como esta? So what we're doing is the debris will come up through the assembly line and what they're trying to do, like I said, is they're gonna try to do 0% landfill. There's two things going, um, working here. Number one, they're saving the environment one piece of trash at a time. This assembly line has been painstakingly installed over years and approved by all the necessary departments to be installed. And this is one of the reasons we come here. As this trash comes up, they will literally go through this by hand. And what they'll do is, they'll throw it down the chute to the dumpsters below. And what they'll do is they'll take each particular, each piece of trash, piece at a time, piece at a time, and they'll put it in the various facilities. These guys are amazing. I've never seen 
a company so in tune to how to save money. This place is completely amazing. I'll just go over it one more time. There's an excavator down below that is feeding a conveyor belt. The conveyor belt is materials being shaken. The shake material will be used for special purposes. So that's one, that's the first part of it. The second part of it, it comes higher to the level number two. Then these extremely, extremely hardworking individuals will start sorting it. And I'll just show you just everything that comes off this. It's amazing. Just It's just as fast as they work. Now you gotta remember guys, they're doing, doing this all day. So right now, he's gonna go over to the shaker. It looks like he's gonna fix a clog. And these guys are constantly, you know, it doesn't look like a hard process of what they're doing. And I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna show you just how much doesn't come off the end of the facility. By the time they, they even have one for concrete. They have one for it looks like cardboard. Now, I don't come up here too often. This isn't, a, this isn't a part of the facility that too many people come to or even see. And here's, it's called a pick line. They have metal, cardboard, aluminum, and then anything that doesn't make it or that they can't pick or that it's just moving too fast, it'll just go into another dumpster. And then that will be kind of like the, the last hurrah of trying to get everything. Um, and I'll tell you what, the stuff that comes out here that goes to a landfill is so minor, it's so minute. The place is amazing. This is how it looks, guys, when you work with a facility that strives for zero landfill. They do this to keep our dumping fees low. They do this for the environment. They do this just to, just to run a well-maintained facility. This line is amazing. You don't see this too often, guys. This, the amount of money that went into this, um, this conveyor belt system is phenomenal. I don't even know what the payback is. I have no idea. But I'll tell you what, the amount of money that went into this facility, how well and how every inch is not being wasted. If you notice, the, the conveyor belt is up against the wall, so the footprint of this is almost non-existent. For the amount of square feet that they have here, it's, it's, it's ran like, it, it, like it's a 300,000 square foot building. The footprint of, of what you see is basically non-existent because down below you have dumpsters that are being filled up. So all that square footage is being used. The only wasted square footage is where the actual, I can't even say that's wasted because now the shaker's down there. Maybe steps, that's about it. If you can imagine this piece of wood, is completely recyclable. I'll bet my bottom dollar that they're gonna take that piece of wood out. Now, if you would just take this to any normal facility, that wood will most likely not make it to, it will, it'll go directly to the landfill. Here, they'll actually recycle it. Now these, these guys and girls will do this for days and days and days. And I'll tell you what, I've seen a lot of retail stores go through people faster than I've seen them go through at the dump. I mean, they treat their employees tremendously. These people work hard for them. The company strives to keep them happy. And I'll tell you what, for them to sit here for eight, 10, six hours a day is amazing. I mean, they don't stop. I've seen the same people work here since I've been here. And they don't quit, they don't shudder, they just keep working. It's amazing, I got complete respect for these people. All day, every day, this is what they do. And I'll tell you what, it's, it's amazing. This company really treats their, their, their employees well. And it shows because their retention on employees are completely amazing. I could watch these guys work all day. Every day, all day, they sort, sort, and sort. And I just wanna give you an idea of what they're picking and show you what they're picking because what they do is, is amazing. I have complete respect for them.
San Jacinto, come on. 